I'm recording now. Hi, Steve. Hey, how you doing, Raul? Okay, okay. I just thought uh, I'd get Chairman Mao here to say hello from Seattle. It's fantastic. Yeah, I got uh, I got him in uh, Hong Kong last month. And okay. He brought the revolution all the way here to Seattle. Okay. So, anyway, uh, we have a good day outside. Sort of. What's good. the it's, temperature there? It's good for here. Oh, it's about. Uh, Probably about 12 to 15 C. Okay. Like 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Wow, yeah. this is beautiful. We haven't had any rain for a week, so it's real nice. Um, it's starting to feel like spring in January, which is a big surprise. And uh, over the hill back there behind that house, there's nothing for 50 kilometers. It's Oops. just out in the woods. That's going east from where I am. I'm about uh, oh, 40 kilometers from Seattle, about miles. And then if you look south, from the roof of my house here, if, you were, if it was a clear day and I was on the other side of the house and the trees weren't in the way, you'd see Mount Rainier, which is about 70 miles south of here, 120 or 110 kilometers. So we're up here in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, let's see. Where are we going? Let's see if we can't go outside here and still have a signal. We might lose you. Let's see what happens. So here we go. We can. Uh, this is the backyard here. The lower forty, and we don't have any tigers or. Bears stalking a backyard at the moment, but uh, every once in a while we, we do get bears here. We really do, and they leave evidence in the backyard. So, but uh, we haven't had any bears lately, not since last fall. You still there? What sort of bears? Uh, black bears. Whoops. I mean, uh, real bears. You know, the kind that stand up on their back legs and and growl at you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like bite your arms off. That's <laughs> that kind of bear. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yep. So how do you scare them with guns? Well, no, actually, if you go outside, they get scared. You know, all they have to do is hear a little bit of sound, and they get spooked real easy. Um, or on the way up here uh, from downtown, when we come home, every once in a while, we'll see some kind of wildlife on the street. Um, about a year ago, we saw a lynx, which is a big cat. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, big cat. And... Uh, We do have cougars around here. I've never seen a cougar, but uh, there's supposed to be a few around here. Every once in a while, people lose their cats and their dogs, and uh, it's either a coyote or a cougar. So we have all kinds of big animals around here, but uh, they're good at staying hidden. You don't really see them very often. But uh, we've lost seven cats up here in the last... We've lived in this area for uh, 17 years almost, and we've lost seven cats. Oops. So... Yeah, we don't keep the cats outside anymore. The three we have now have never been outside. So, anyway, life in the fast lane here. <laughs> This is very good. Yeah? Yeah, it worked fantastic. Oh, hey, it's a painting I'm working on. 